everyone this is Sharon with Crafty Acres and today it's nearing the end of the evening and but I was getting ready to go in to finish a project in the other garden the main garden in our yard but I was out here working with the volunteer watermelon we have out on the edge and I saw this in my tomato patch let me show you what we found I thought this was pretty important to show you on this tomato. Check this out. This is an entire stem where there is no leaves. So that's telling me there's a problem here. And then I found another stem over here, no leaves. And then I started looking and I already broke it off. I don't want to touch him. He's right here. That is the tomato hornworm. And I always knew it was called the tomato hornworm until this year. My boyfriend's dad told me it's actually a tobacco worm. And I'm trying to, here's the bigger one. So let's flip him out. I actually don't even like to touch him. And what I do is I wear boots and I just smush them right into the ground when you find them. Get rid of them. Make sure they're dead. Oh, sorry. So I usually don't have much problems with the tomato hornworm and but I found out something this year it's called a most people call it the tomato hornworm but my boyfriend's father actually told me it's the tobacco worm it's actually a tobacco worm he used to raise tobacco from the time he was a little sprig on up He's well into his 70s now, and they used to have a big tobacco farm down in Kentucky, and it was the tobacco worm. And now, I guess they don't raise as much tobacco as they used to. In fact, he doesn't raise any anymore, but uh, I guess they kind of changed the name over time because fewer people are raising tobacco. But anyway, that's how I take care of it. And you want to stay on top of it. Now I'm starting to look at all my plants to see if I see any blank stems. If you see any um, stems where there are no leaves, that's a telltale ta sign that something is going on with your plants and you need to check them out. Do a little closer investigation. There's also another way of finding them because they do blend in so well. They kind of are like chameleons. They camouflage yourself to the plant. And so what you want to do is you can come out if you can't find them you can come out with a black light at night and they'll they're supposed to glow in the black with a black light so that's another way you can find them if you can't find them in the daytime so i check the other plants right around here and i don't see any more stems that are blank but i'm gonna to have to go through this whole patch i was just through here a few days ago making sure there wasn't any blight or anything else like that didn't see anything didn't see those so they must be starting to come out so it's always something new and something interesting in the garden we'll see you next time if you found this video interesting and you think someone else would find this interesting go ahead and share it with them you can share it across your social media if you like and if you would go ahead and like and subscribe let me know if you have any ways of dealing with the tobacco or the tobacco hornworm better known as the tomato hornworm and i'd love to see your comments about that and how you take care of them see you guys later have a great evening